Hello everyone, and welcome to the Pensy Productions 2021 Year in Review. This year has by far been our most successful yet. We have captured nine operating steam locomotives, we have opened new social media channels, we have become monetized, and we have worked to elevate rail preservation efforts. There's a lot to cover, so without further ado, let's get started. As we all know, 2020 was an interesting year, but we rode out of the year with great optimism for what was to come. Indeed, 2021 brought a number of exciting new projects and upgrades to the table for Pensy Productions. First and foremost, we began a favorable partnership with the Midwest Railway Preservation Society to produce a series of videos highlighting the restoration of Grand Trunk Western number 4070. Since beginning production in February, the Society has made great strides with the restoration, the likes of which haven't been seen in many years. To make your donation, visit MidwestRailway.org and click on Donate. With your help, the 4070 will return to steam. Similar to last year, our first outing occurred in mid-March at the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad to test new equipment. Still running on a curtailed schedule due to the pandemic, these were members-only trips running between Rockside and Peninsula. These push-pull trips featured their former Seaboard C420 running long hood forward, while the Silver Solarium observation car from the famed California Zephyr brought up the rear without a diesel, both rare sights in the Cuyahoga Valley. It was great to get back out on the rails, but we were still missing the smell of coal smoke. Luckily, in mid-May, our desires would be satisfied by the Hawking Valley Scenic Railway. Their former Ohio Power Company steam locomotive number three was making her debut trips of the year with two excursions from Nelsonville to East Logan, including a photo run by at Haydenville. Although the trips ran under mostly overcast skies, it was a real treat to spend a day with the only operating standard gauge steam locomotive in the state of Ohio.
too quickly it seemed, our visit was brought to an end, and we already can't wait for the next one. Undoubtedly the highlight from 2020, the Cass Scenic Railroad's Rail Heritage Weekend provided countless spectacular photo opportunities on West Virginia's beloved Scenic Railroad. But our only regret was missing the session in nearby Durban. So, in mid-July, we decided to head back down to Durban to see Heisler No. 6 hard at work with the Durban Rocket Excursions. What made this trip particularly special, however, was that this was to be the last year these excursions would operate, as parent company Durban and Greenbrier Valley was close to bridging the gap on the former Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad connecting Cass and Durban. The rocket proved to be a chase unlike anywhere else in the country, as we traversed winding gravel roads and rickety swing bridges to arrive at these beautiful scenic vistas. Of course, we weren't about to leave Cass out of the picture either, so we made a quick pit stop there during downtime on Friday and Sunday, where we were lucky to catch Shay's numbers 5 and 11 in service for the first time.
golden haulers of the Appalachians, the month of August brought us to the flatlands of eastern Pennsylvania to catch none other than Norfolk and Western J Class number 611 on her sophomore visit to the Strasburg Railroad. The legendary locomotive's assignments for this weekend were the regular 45-minute excursions between Strasburg and Paradise, and the crews from Strasburg and the Virginia Museum of Transportation did not disappoint. Although it's certainly a far cry from her glory days on the main line, it's always a thrill to see the Queen of Steam alive. The 611 wasn't alone on the road to paradise, however, as the railroad's venerable Decapod No. 90 was also hauling excursions that weekend. As usual, she performed wonderfully on the four and a half mile route.
As luck would have it, the 611 wouldn't be the climax of the year for Pensy Productions. For railroad fans in Ohio, September means big steam, and that proved no different in 2021, as the legendary Nickel Plate Road number 765 returned to the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad for the annual Steam in the Valley event. After skipping out in 2020 due to COVID, the crews from Fort Wayne and CVSR pulled out all the stops for this year's trips. For the first time, three weekends of special events were offered, including special excursions out of Rockside and Akron with photo runbys at Indigo Lake. For the latter two weekends, the 765 sported a special guest whistle from an anonymous sister Berkshire. Meanwhile, on the rear of the train, the duo of vintage Canadian National FPA-4 diesels made a welcome return, powering the train north. Miraculously, the weather was absolutely picture-perfect for every single day, not a cloud in the sky. As usual, the 765 put on a spirited show on the former B&O.
Truly, it was a great year of events with the Big 284, as we filmed at a number of rare locations and angles on the railroad for the first time. We're already looking forward to what next year's events have in store. Of course, our 2021 wouldn't be complete without one more trip, and that was to the Reading and Northern Railroad over Halloween weekend. For this year, their iconic steam locomotive number 425 was back in action on the fall foliage excursions, charging at blistering speed down the main. Additionally, we were lucky to hear four different whistles on the locomotive that weekend, each with a distinct sound and heritage. The four and a quarter delivered the unmatched steam show that she has become famous for, racing over the former anthracite roads in grand style.
And with that, our 2021 came to an end. Pensy Productions soared to new heights this past year, and we would like to thank all of you for supporting us throughout the year. What will 2022 bring? We already have some big plans rolling. Stay tuned to find out. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more railroading content. Thanks for watching.